Hi friends, I'm Renee with the Flip and Till Bees. My husband and I have been renovating and flipping RVs for the past seven years, and today I'm going to be sharing with you our top tips for upgrading your RV's cabinets. The first tip is to simply spiff them up. RV cabinets are particularly susceptible to scratches and dings that can leave extremely unsightly white marks and other blemishes. And these blemishes are actually very easy to repair. All you're going to need is a Sharpie that is a color a little bit darker than your cabinet color. So a black or dark brown typically will work really well. You're going to want to scribble over the scratch and then get an alcohol-based wipe, such as a baby wipe, and wipe off any excess and to blend it in. You can also do the exact same trick just using a wood stain pen. So just scribble it on, wipe off the excess, and then all of a sudden your cabinets are looking beautiful again. If your RV is fairly old or has gotten quite a bit of use, they could probably benefit from a good scrub down. If your cabinets are a wood base, you'll want to get some sort of wood cleaner and conditioner, such as an old English cleaner, and scrub them down to really bring out their natural beauty. If your RV cabinets are veneer, you can simply clean them with any kind of degreaser, such as dish soap. Sometimes all your cabinets will need is a little bit of spiffing for you to love them again. The next tip we have for you today is to replace the hardware. Hardware can make your cabinets look extremely dated or it can also transform them into something beautiful. A few tips we have for replacing hardware is to make sure that you measure your hole center. So from the hole on the top of the handle to the hole on the bottom of the handle. A lot of times the RV cabinet hardware is smaller than the traditional sizes you'll get in sticks and bricks. So you'll want to make sure that you have your exact measurements before buying new hardware. You can also take one of your old handles into the hardware store to make sure that you're going to get a perfect fit. We have had great luck finding hardware that fits the specifications we need and the style that we want when shopping online. Plus, buying in bulk will typically give you a better price. Another tip when you're replacing your RV's hardware is to keep the old screws. A lot of times the depths on your RV cabinets are not standard, so keeping those original ones will make sure that you have the right length of screws. So don't throw them away, keep them until you're for sure that you do not need them. Another tip to upgrade your hardware is to simply paint it. A few tips for painting your hardware is to be sure that you do sand down the original hardware really well, and then either buy a spray paint with a primer in it or prime the hardware before you paint it with your top coat. And be sure that you leave adequate time for each layer to dry before moving on to the next coat. And if you follow those steps for painting your hardware, you should have a fantastic finish that lasts a long time. Now we've touched up the cabinets, we've scrubbed them down, we've given them new hardware, what else can we do with the cabinets? Now if your cabinets came with the glass inserts, they're a fantastic canvas for doing some really fun projects. A lot of these tips can also be used on any cabinet doors with an inset panel as well. If you're not happy with the glass panels that came in your RV's cabinets, the easiest thing that you can do with them is to simply cover them up. Some of your options for recovering the glass are peel and stick wallpaper, rattan webbing, caning, really any kind of outdoor heavy duty fabric and we've even used a fine woven burlap. If you're going to use any kind of fabric to attach it to the glass panel, what you're going to want to do is to cut the fabric about an inch bigger than the panel that you want to attach it to. Then after you have it cut, if the fabric is fairly limp, you are going to want to spray it down starch and iron it so that it can hold its shape. After you have that prepped, you're going to want to get a spray adhesive, tape off any area on your cabinet door that you don't want any adhesive on, and then spray both your fabric and the cabinet door. After it's sprayed, you're going to get the fabric, lay it on top, push it into the edges, then get a utility knife to cut all the excess out. This will create a really beautiful upgraded look for your glass panel RV cabinets. If you are wanting to remove that glass panel completely, a few tips for that is to make sure that you have a very sharp utility knife. A lot of times those glass panels are held in with a siliconized glue and it is fairly hard to remove. So you're going to want to take a lot of time and patience to cut that out to remove that glass panel. Some of the reasons you might want to remove the glass panel is if you're painting the cabinets later and you want a cohesive look. Glass does not take cabinet paint well, so replacing that glass panel with a thin sheet of wood will allow you to paint over it easily to create a cohesive look in your RV cabinets. Another reason you might want to remove the glass panel is if it's broken or you just simply want a different type of material in there. After you remove that glass panel, you can really replace it with anything that you like. Some fun things you can do is wood paneling. You could also do like a punched aluminum sheeting to create a nice fun industrial look. There's really a lot of options that you can do to replace that glass panel if you're not happy with how it looks. If you've listened to all of my previous cabinet upgrade tips, but you still want a bigger transformation than those, then 
then painting might be the way to go. Painting is obviously the most labor intensive choice, but it will also give you the biggest transformation in the interior of your RV. If painting is your choice, then here's a few tips to help you have a successful project. Now you might be tempted to paint your cabinet doors in place, but we're going to implore you, please do not do this. This will actually create a lot more work for you in the long run. Removing all the cabinet doors and all the hardware really is the best way to paint your cabinets. We also highly recommend that you put all of the hardware into Ziploc baggies and label them. Even if you think you're going to be replacing this hardware, we do really recommend that you hold on to it till the very end, just to make sure that you don't throw out something that you did need. As you're removing the cabinet doors, you also want to label them. So the best way that we have found to label our cabinet doors is to take a Sharpie and I like to label them right underneath where the cabinet hinge was and then get a piece of painter's tape, place it over the top of that and then leave that there throughout the entire painting process. Then you'll pull it off, you'll know exactly where it goes, you put your cabinet hinge right over the top of it and you won't be able to tell that spot wasn't ever painted. This will save you a lot of time, especially if you have a lot of cabinets that you're painting because you think that you'll remember exactly where they went or it shouldn't be too hard, but you'd be surprised at how much effort it actually does take to put cabinet doors exactly where they belong. So save yourself a headache, label them. You'll be happy in the end when you're putting all the cabinets back on after your painting job. So after you've removed all your cabinet doors, you've labeled them, you've put all of your hardware into the baggies. Now what you're going to want to do is to sand down all of your cabinet doors. Please do not skip this step. Use something like a 180 or 220 for your sandpaper, sand everything down, all the nooks and crannies, front and back, please do the back side of those cabinet doors. Then you want to clean them with a degreaser or paint prep. And then after they're cleaned and dried, then you'll want to get a sponge roller or a paint sprayer and apply a high quality primer to your cabinet doors. After that, finish up with two top coats, let them dry, put them back up, and now you have a completely transformed interior of your RV. If you end up using any of these tips that we shared in this video, we'd love to hear your experience in the comments below. If you have any other upgrade suggestions for RV cabinets, we'd also love to hear about those. Thanks so much for watching guys and happy RVing.